Today I have three new drugstore cleansers for you, out of which two are actually new, the Geek & Gorgeous Mighty Melt Cleansing Balm and the Ordinary Glucoside Foaming Cleanser and lastly the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, which is absolutely not new but which I never used before hearing that it makes the perfect double cleanse paired with the Glucoside Foaming one. So let's take a closer look at all three of them. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. This cleansing balm claims to be gentle yet effective in removing even waterproof makeup while rinsing completely cream. The balm looks white and opaque, is firm upon touch, but quickly melts when you dip your finger in and start spreading it onto your face. I didn't notice any scent. Like most cleansing balms, this is supposed to be used at night to get rid of the dirt sunscreen in eventually makeup you are wearing. This one transforms into an oil once it comes in contact with the skin and easily melts away even heavy filming makeup if I wear it. The only thing that it needs a little work with is waterproof mascara, but that for me is true for almost every cleanser. I seem to pile more mascara on than the average person. After rinsing my face, there is absolutely no residue and my skin feels soft. There's also none of this cloudy residue you sometimes get when wearing contacts. It contains a variety of surfactants and emollients, out of which the PEC20 Glyceryl Triisosteerate, according to the manufacturer, is perfect for oil cleansers that rinse off without a washcloth. This is a foaming gel cleanser that claims to maintain the skin's moisture barrier, Aka claims to not be harsh and stripping. I'm going to describe the texture as gel that is more on the liquid side, clear and with air bubbles inside the product, but I admit the first thing I thought when I had it on my hand was snot. It is fragrance-free and has a faint chemical scent to it. Like most gel cleansers, you can either foam it up with water on your hand before applying it to your face, apply it to damp skin, or apply it and then foam it up on the face with wet fingers. All three work. I either foam it up before application when I use it in the mornings, or apply it to damp skin when I use it as second cleanse at night. I tried removing makeup with it, but it is only capable of doing that for a very light application and not for waterproof or long-lasting products. So. I personally wouldn't use it for that purpose. It doesn't sting my eyes though, which is always a bonus. The lather is nice and gentle and it rinses clean, leaving the skin feeling refreshed but not stripped. As you would expect in a cleanser, you'll find mild surfactants and then vitamin E and phytic acid, which both have antioxidant properties, but probably are used for a different purpose in the formula. This one claims to be a cleanser for all occasions, so presumably you'll be able to remove makeup, but also work as a second or only cleanse. I admit I had expected something yellowish and a little more oily due to the name, so I was surprised when I saw this looks and feels more like a cream cleanser than an oil. It is fragrance-free, but has a faint scent to it I can't really name, something plasticky, but really, really faint. The website advises you to warm it up in your hands until it turns into an oil, but to be honest, while it does get smoother when you do that, it never really felt like an oil to me. It does take off most makeup I'm wearing, but struggles with long-wearing liner or waterproof mascara. When you rinse it with water, it emulsifies and leaves your face clean without residue, but while it wasn't very stripping, I didn't find it to be hydrating either. It would also leave a little fog on my contacts when I was still wearing them. Apart from emollients and emulsifiers, you will find the name giving squalane, an oil naturally occurring in our sebum, and glycerin, a humectant, as well as malic acid, an AHA derived from apples that I assume is not used as exfoliant here. My assumption is based on the fact that it comes way down in the ingredient list, so is probably in a too low concentration to have an exfoliating effect, and that the cleanser is not marketed as exfoliating cleanser. All three cleansers shown today are perfectly fine, budget-friendly cleansers that should work for all skin types. My favorite is the Mighty Melt, as it feels beautiful on the skin and because I love balm cleansers, but the foaming glucoside cleanser is also really nice in how it works on the skin, it is just not as exciting in sensory experience. The Squalane cleanser isn't bad either, I just don't get the hype and would always pick the balm if I had to choose between the two. 
Two new affordable cleansers you should know about are the Geek and Gorgeous Mighty Melt Cleansing Balm that has a beautiful texture, rinses without any residue and feels much more luxurious than you'd expect at that price point, and the Ordinary Glucoside Foaming Cleanser that, despite being a gel cleanser, leaves the skin refreshed yet not stripped. While the first one is great to remove makeup and sunscreen, the Ordinary's version is better used as second or morning cleanse or as the brand suggests, paired with the Ordinary Squall Lane Cleanser if you want to double cleanse. I admit the Ordinary Squall Lane Cleanser, which gets a lot of hype online, didn't bother me as much as I expected it to do. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!